Weekly Concept Traditions Essential Question What can traditions teach you about cultures? Share Weekly Concept Traditions Essential Question What can traditions teach you about cultures? Sharing Traditions my family and I live in Alaska. Today, my grandpa is teaching us how to drum and use traditional Yupik dance fans. Traditions are passed down in my family. Traditions help me learn about my culture and customs. My family's traditions make me proud. Talk about it. Write words you have learned about traditions. Then talk with a partner about how your family shares traditions. Vocabulary. Use the picture and the sentence to talk with a partner about each word. Celebrate. Jim and his friends like to celebrate the 4th of July together. How do you like to celebrate? Courage. Firefighters show bravery and courage. What word means the same as courage. Disappointment. Jason felt disappointment when it rained. How would you show disappointment? Precious. This precious necklace is special to my grandmother. What does the word precious mean? Pride. I take pride in the vegetables I grow in my garden. Name one time you felt pride in something you did. Remind. My mom will remind me to clean my room. When did you need someone to remind you to do something? Symbols. The eagle and the flag are symbols of our country. Name some symbols you know. Tradition. Our Sunday tradition is eating dinner together. Name a tradition that people share. Three words, then write three questions for your partner to answer. Genre, realistic fiction, the dream catcher. Essential question. What can traditions teach you about cultures? Read how Peter learns about his culture. Peter walked home from school. Salty tears ran down his cheeks and his stomach hurt. He didn't know what to do. Grandmother was waiting for him on the front porch. Bayan was the Ojibwe name for Peter. He called her Nokomis, which means grandmother. Peter looked up. I have to give a presentation where I talk about a family tradition. I know we have lots of beliefs and customs. Can you remind me of one? Nakomi smiled and nodded her head. Come with me, she said. Peter followed Nakomis. She went to a closet and stretched to reach the top shelf. She pulled out a small box and blew away the dust. She handed it to Peter. Open it, she said. Peter opened the box. He spotted a wooden hoop inside. It was in the shape of a circle. String was woven and twisted around the hoop. It looked like a spider web. A black bead sat near the center. Feathers hung from the bottom. Peter wiped away his tears and smiled. This is a dream catcher, said Nokomis. Our people have made these for many years. Circles are symbols of unity and strength. Let's hang it over your bed tonight. It will catch your bad dreams in the web, and your good dreams will fall through the center. Maybe it will give you courage to do your presentation. Can I take this one to school, asked Peter. No, Bayan, said Nokomis. 
This dream catcher is precious. I got it when I was your age, and it means a lot to me. Peter felt disappointment because he wanted to share the dream catcher with his class. We could make you one, said Nokomis. I'd like that, cried Peter. Nokomis and Peter worked together and made a dream catcher. That night, as he gazed and looked at the dream catcher over his bed, he made a plan. The next morning, he told Nokomis his plan. I'm going to show my class how to make a dream catcher. He said. That's a great idea, said Nokomis. Let's celebrate after your presentation. I will bake corn cookies, and we will have a traditional Ojibwe party. Peter shared his dream catcher with his classmates and showed them how to make their own. Peter didn't feel nervous or scared at all. He felt pride in his culture. He felt pride in himself too. Make connections. What tradition did Peter learn about? How did it help him? What traditions do you take part in? Visualize. Use details to help you visualize the characters and their actions in the dream catcher. Form pictures in your mind as you read. Find text evidence. How does Peter feel at the beginning of the story? Use the details in the first paragraph, on page thirty-nine. Peter walked home from school. Salty tears ran down his cheeks, and his stomach hurt. He didn't know what to do. Grandmother was waiting for him on the front porch. "What's wrong, Byron?" said Peters. "I can visualize how Peter feels at the beginning of the story." He walked home. Salty tears ran down his cheeks. His stomach hurt. These details help me see that Peter feels sad and upset. Your turn. How did Peter feel when he first saw the dream catcher? Reread page forty. Visualize what happened. Then answer the question. Sequence: A character's actions make up the plot or events in a story. Plot events are told in the order they happen. A plot always has a beginning, middle, and end. Find text evidence. At the beginning of the story, I read to see what the characters say and do. Then I read on to see what happens in the middle of the story. Graphic organizer. Character. Peter and Nokomis. Setting: Nokomis's house. Beginning: Peter is worried about giving a presentation at school. Nokomis asks him what is wrong. Middle: Nokomis shows Peter a dream catcher. Then they make one. The events are in sequence or time order. Your turn. Reread pages forty-two and forty-three. What happens at the end of the story? List the events in order in your graphic organizer. Realistic fiction. The dream catcher is realistic fiction. Realistic fiction is a made-up story that could really happen, has a beginning, middle, and end, has illustrations and dialogue. Find text evidence. The dream catcher is realistic fiction. I know because the events could really happen. It also has realistic illustrations and dialogue. Illustrations. Illustrations give more information or details about characters and setting. Dialogue. Dialogue is what the characters say to each other. Your turn. Find two things in the story that could happen in real life. Tell your partner why the dream catcher is realistic fiction. Context clues. If you come across a word you don't know, use context clues. 
Look at other words in the same sentence. They can help you figure out the word's meaning. Find text evidence. I read this sentence on page 39. I'm not sure I know what the word presentation means. I see the words talk about. This clue helps me figure out what presentation means. A presentation is a talk or speech. I have to give a presentation where I talk about a family tradition. Your turn. Find context clues. Figure out the meanings of these words. Woven, page 40. Gazed, page 42. Talk about which nearby words helped you figure out their meanings. Write about the text. I responded to the prompt, add a paragraph to the story. Describe what happened in Peter's dreams and include the dream catcher. Grammar. This text has an example of both a command and an exclamation. Details. I included details about what happened in the dream. That night, Peter had a dream that he was walking in the woods. A spider dropped on his shoulder. It growled. Look up, Peter. There were spiders all around him. A huge sticky web surrounded Peter. He tried to run, but it was harder and harder to move. Peter was scared. Then he saw his dream catcher up ahead. He reached out his arms as far as he could. When Peter finally touched the dream catcher, the spiders and their sticky web melted away. Point of view. I showed what Peter was thinking and feeling. Order of events. I told the events in the dream in order. Your turn. Add a paragraph to the end of the story. Write about what happened when Peter got home from school after his presentation.